Jerusalem Forest, where Israeli police recovered this morning the remains of a body, a young man who'd been beaten and set alight. He was Mohammed Abu Qadir, a 17-year-old Palestinian schoolboy that neighbours say was kidnapped by Israeli settlers. His home is in East Jerusalem, and it now marks a makeshift front line in the running battles with Israeli soldiers. Inside the house, the grieving relatives, among them Mohammed's mother Suha, who had the grim task of identifying her son in a police morgue. They told me someone was kidnapped on the way to the mosque. I called his phone. I kept calling and calling. It was switched off. My son wasn't answering. The confrontations with soldiers are an everyday part of life in the Palestinian territories. They've seen it many times before. But there's nothing normal in this. Young men risking lives throwing stones in the direction of snipers. It's bad. Our, our, our situation is very bad. It's very bad. All of, the, all of the, these guys, they are relatives and they are boiling. The patience is wearing thin on all sides. Suddenly the house becomes the focus of a sustained Israeli assault. Stun grenades, rubber bullets, pandemonium. The relatives of the murdered boy take shelter. There's not even time to grieve. This is the cycle of violence, that eye-for-an-eye eye mentality that in this region can quickly spiral out of control. The Palestinian anger is underpinned by the feeling on their side that their lives are worth less. So it's incumbent on the Israeli authorities that they condemn and pursue the perpetrator of this crime as they would had it been an Israeli child. Of course, earlier in the week, it was an Israeli child. Three of them, abducted and murdered, say Israel, by Hamas. But this cabinet minister told me he considers today's murder every bit as abhorrent. It shames our country, and if it is proven to be Israelis who are responsible, then I would consider it a terrorist attack. A resumption of the peace talks then looks as distant as ever. There are 10 standoffs continuing in East Jerusalem, in the West Bank. Mortars were fired today from the Gaza Strip. Tomorrow, it's the funeral. Christian Fraser, BBC News, East Jerusalem.